Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Happy Thursday. I'm not usually here on Thursdays, but here we are <laughs> with more Disney Dreamlight Valley. How's everybody doing? Terry, hi. Catherine, hi. Brandy, Bookworm, Sarah. Hello, hello. Jasmine, hi. Hello, hello. How's everybody enjoying the update? Are we still feeling positively about it? Also, look how rude. This is how I would usually probably start um a stream if i were by the well but the forgotten is like <laughs> she said um <laughs> i want to be part of this too myra hello ali taylor nina prib hello how are you doing you've unlocked all parts of the expansion already now just working on all the quests oh my goodness listen i'm i think i have like four areas left to unlock but um either fortunately or unfortunately Time bending just scratches some kind of an itch in my brain, and I am obsessed with time bending. I think I probably spent like 30 minutes yesterday just running around time bending um, while watching some YouTube. <laughs> uh, it's just so fun. I don't know why, but it is. Can anyone else relate? Are you just like compulsively hourglassing or is it just me? It might just be me. Uh, hi, Alyssa. Hello, hello. Okay, this was a horrible time to decide to uh, do one of these rift things because beginning of stream, trying to see what everyone's saying. Hi, Grace. Hi, Jason. You love it, Catherine? Taylor, you ready for the weekend? Getting the expansion today. Amazing. That's so exciting. Also, wait, right before stream, people were trying to track me down. It's always Eric. Eric always wants to play scramble coin with me. Let me see if it ha let me see. Hmm. I think if I teleport to this well, Eric will literally come sprinting after me because he wants me to play scramble coin with him. Maybe not. Maybe it's just when I move in between. No, of course, now he's not going to do it because <laughs> I'm on stream and that would be too much like proving a point for me. But yeah, the villagers, especially Eric, they will track you down when they want to play Scramble Coin. Hi, Mings, Ricky, Heather. Hello, hello. You unlocked a monkey today. Amazing. I um probably to no one's surprise have not really been feeding the critters. Well, also, to be fair, though. Some of them are only in specific regions of the biomes, and I don't have all of them unlocked. Um, also, I was trying to feed one of the monkeys yesterday, and they're kind of like the rabbits, so you have to chase them down usually three times, and then you can feed them. But without fail, every time I got to the third time, it would disappear out of existence. Like, not just run away and I couldn't find it, like it would literally poof out of existence. And it was so rude and disrespectful. I didn't like it very much. Um, I did not decide. <laughs> Here I am, just getting caught up time bending again. This wasn't what the plan was. Um, what was the plan? I wrote it down in everything. Give me a second to consult my uh, to-do list. Emily, hello, hello. This is your first stream you're watching when I'm on. Oh, amazing. I'm happy you're able to be here. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so I want to go check on my crops on Eternity Isle just to make sure that they're watered. But I do want to, I think, do a little bit of work on the star path around the beginning of stream i think i'm literally on like the last part of this housewarming quest for rapunzel so i think i want to finish that one and then from there oh they're all grown okay well that's fine that works um from there i'm not sure what we're gonna do maybe look at the ancient machines that might be nice maybe do some decorating i need to decide what i'm doing with the uh, valley visit portal Heather you're new here welcome in welcome in found my channel a few days ago after watching my day old tea video oh amazing I was actually watching um the update expansion VODs from my day old tea this morning <laughs> as I was uh just hanging out just hanging out and it was fun only one crash so far. That's not too bad. You're about to unlock the Oasis and Promenade today, finally. Amazing. I think we did that, like, at the very end of stream yesterday, if I remember correctly. 
Also, hi, Isabel. Hello, hello. You hope they added toggle to hide the scramble coin icons. That would be interesting. OK, looks like we need to spend some time with Merlin, give some gifts, cook some one star meals, do some um, dreamlight duties, catch some bass and eat some fairly simple meals, I think. Mm, uh, see, here he is, Eric. You know what? I would, under normal circumstances, want to play a scramble coin with you. However, I'm on a mission. I think this should probably count as a meal that I need to eat. Did I just teleport? I did. I did. I did. Did that count? OK, cool. So I'm not going to bother doing that all right now because we'll get it done um, as we're wandering around. I've been eating so many berry salads lately because I've been doing a lot of <laughs> time bending, foraging, all of that kind of stuff. Merlin, I know you just sat down, my man, but would you like to hang out with me for a little bit? Well, hello. What would I recommend getting from the premium shop? You have 21,000 moonstones. Ooh, let me look back at that again. Listen and um, I can let you know. Um, ooh, okay, okay, okay. This one's a really tricky one. I usually always recommend getting the houses, but that's partially because I love to decorate, so I get a lot of value from them. Frozen Elsa is actually really good. She looks really creepy in this icon here, but in game, she looks beautiful. So if you're a fan of this look from the first movie, that's amazing. Uh, this Christmassy stuff is nice too. Listen, I think the thing is, uh, these companions, they're not my absolute favorite. I have them, but they're not my favorite. But between the other three things, I think all of them are hits. And it really just depends on what kind of items you like or what kind of vibes you like. But I think they're all great items. You'll be hopping in and playing a bit more today, although you've been putting some hours into a vid video editing project recently. Wait, really? I didn't know that. OK, Merlin is a forager, so let's actually put his foraging skill to use as we hang out with him. And we're going to collect some resources around Eternity Isle, I think. Taylor, you found me watching the tour of my valley. Oh, amazing. Well, thanks for coming and hanging out. Also for watching that video. It was um, 5,000 years long. So I appreciate it. <laughs> but I had fun doing it. OK, what else can we find over here? Raquel, hello, hello. You don't know why you got that thing in the portal for valley visits. You have no friends that play this game. That's fine. If you wanted to play with people, we have channels on my Discord server. If you wanted to link up or post what you have in Scrooge's shop, if you are willing to have people come grab things from Scrooge. But also, it's kind of just a cool item to decorate with, I think. Hmm, where is this one? The critters in the premium shop have creepy eyes. They do a little bit have creepy eyes. When is my next live on my restarted island? So I'm probably going to put a poll up about that tomorrow, actually, because I usually play Dreamlight Valley on Sundays and Wednesdays, and that's still my plan going forwards, but I'm not overly opinionated about whether we play original save on Sundays or Wednesdays or whether we play new save on Sundays or Wednesdays. So I'll probably see what everyone else is feeling via poll, um, but it'll be one of those two days. Can I show what the whimsical pink companions look like? Oh, I can. Also, I can re-equip my uh, Jester monkey because um, I had him out hanging out, but the Forgotten was uh, looking. Wait, I forget which ones are in the shop right now. I think they're divided into two sets. But they look like this. I mean, they're kind of cute, but they're also kind of creepy at the same time. I don't know. I feel like they just look a little bit unfinished. You know, I don't know, but they're fine. 
Oh, but yeah, the Jester Monkey and the Forgotten were not getting along. They were like glitching into each other, so I had to get rid of it for a little while. Okay, let's do this. You just started playing only a couple weeks ago, but you also bought the expansion pack. Do I think it's worth finishing the Forgotten storyline first before doing anything in Eternity Isle? Um... I think that's really up to you. I don't think you have to finish the forgetting storyline first. Um, yeah, I think it's probably just whichever you're more excited to check out first. You can do them um, at the same time. Oh, here's Rapunzel. Okay, well, I can't say no to Rapunzel. It looks like we're going to be playing some Scramble Coin. <laughs> Where do you find my Discord? Ooh, um, if someone would type exclamation mark Discord in chat, that will drop a link, but I should also have it in the description box of the live stream. Okay, Rapunzel, let's play some Scramble Coin. Thank you, Prim. It's hard to save your mist because you love opening other parts of the aisle. Luckily, I feel like the mist is not too difficult to gather. Do you get the Jester Monkey within the first week of buying? Yeah, um, within the first week of buying the expansion pass. You get the monkey and the outfit that I'm wearing right now. Um, I think... Oh, what does Remy do? I think I just unlocked Remy. Borders, and he moves diagonally to and then diagonally to again. Ooh. Wait, can we only use him on turn two or turn two or after? I'm going to try using Remy. Um... I'm going to go with Scrooge as I usually do. Um. Oh, wait, why would I do that when I could just use Nala? Huh. You know what? I think we're going to go with. These people as our crew. No, you instead. Yeah, this will be our crew. To and after, okay. Also, hello Mara, welcome in. How are you? Sorry for people who aren't that into Scramble Coin. <laughs> I actually love Scramble Coin so much. I've been having a great time. It's pretty hit or miss whether I do well or not, but I do in fact enjoy myself quite a bit. We're going to move Scrooge here. Scramble coin is so hard, you can't win a game. It's one of those things that it's just like all strategy. And I feel like sometimes my strategy works well, and sometimes it very much does not. Um, Should have gone with Cogsworth. Let's do... You know what? Let's put you here, Remy. And let's move you here and then here. You're still trying to beat Mickey. Oh my goodness. You've lost 15 games. It's it's tricky. Also, some of the villagers have um I I haven't decided like been able to figure out whether each villager has a specific lineup of characters that they always use or whether they kind of switch it up, but um, I feel like they probably have a similar lineup that they use all the time. And some of the characters are really difficult to beat. Wait, Goofy comes in on a corner. I'm going to use you, and I think I'm going to put you there. Uh, Rouge, go here. Remy, go here, I think. No worries, Prib. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. 
Scramble coin is harder than it looks. You've heard some people took 20 or more tries to beat Mickey. I've heard that as well. Oh, you're going to try to get some wins in Scramble coin, Mara. How have you been doing? How's everybody on the ranking for it? We are not doing well. <laughs> oh no, we are not doing well, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not going to be able to switch anyone out. But... That's fine. We're going to use Lumiere here. We're going to use... Hmm, we really just aren't in the optimal position for Remy, honestly, but we're going to throw Remy over there and we're going to throw Scrooge over there. Hi, Christian. Hello, hello. Linda, you're getting the hang of it, but it's fun. I think it's a lot of fun. We're not going to be playing all day, but I don't know. <laughs> we are playing for the time being. Uh, We'll skip this. Oh no, we're still losing so badly. We're not going to be able to pull a win out on this one, friends. We're not going to be able to. Uh, I'm going to move back there, though, and you're going to move there. You think it's rigged for us to not do well? I don't feel that way, but it could be. Oh my! Well, hey, we still got two points because Rapunzel really wanted to play. <laughs> She really wanted to play a scramble coin. So even though we lost, we still got two points. Not too shabby. You can switch anyone wherever when you have already placed all three. Their limitations don't count anymore after that. Wait, really? We don't have to switch them over somebody on an entry point? That's a game changer. What are we doing on this? We only need a few more minutes with Merlin. Um... Cook some things, give villagers things they like. Let's see what Rapunzel wants as gifts for today. We can do that. Play. Have you, seen Hi. you won your first three games and now it's all fails. You need to pay more attention to the moves. Still fun, though. Yeah, I feel like also there's probably a bit of time where you should have pieces that are... What am I trying to say? <laughs> Where you're probably playing against people with a lot better pieces than you. Okay, we can get her one of these yellow flowers and some hardwood. Let me track that down for you, wraps. Give me a sec. Oh, do I have what you like? Uh, You do not look okay. All right. <laughs> that monkey was struggling a little bit. You're so frustrated with Scramble Coin. I luckily haven't gotten too frustrated with it. But I think it's because even if you lose, you still get points. So I just have a good time with it. Okay, let's grab one of these. You don't have the DLC yet, so haven't played, but you're excited for when you get it. It's a lot of fun. I feel like between Scramble Coin and the Hourglass tool, I'm just going to have a blast just running around doing those two things in my free time. Have I upgraded my hourglass? I upgraded it once. I might see about doing some more upgrades today. I don't know. I don't know if anyone else can relate to this, but I'm in the sort of... I don't know. I'm in the sort of phase where I feel like I've done a lot of things in the expansion, so I'm worried about doing too much and running out of content, but I'm also like... Have I done, <laughs> have I done too much? Not really, I don't know. I'm still trying to, to set the pace, you know? This place is Hello and good evening to you. How are you doing today? Where is the bridge that you have to fix for Eve? Wait, I don't know about a bridge we have to fix for Eve. I know about one we have to fix for Jafar. Is that the one you're talking about? To find Eve? It's kind of right across from Scrooge's shop. You'll be able to see Eve's spaceship right in that area. Okay. Um, wraps, here you are. Hi. Let me give you these gifts that you wanted. 
You'll have to put your treasure chests in your main house. Wait, like your storage and stuff? <laughs> and I will also give you this. Got a whole new island to decorate. I have loads to do. I know, I know, but I don't know. I think especially because I stream this game a lot. Um, I'm like, I need to make sure I save content <laughs> to do on streams until the next update. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to spend some time with Goofy soon. Um, what else? Sell two meals, have a daily discussion. Oh, I guess we could also talk to Rapunzel. Mm -hmm. See what's new with you. Do you like Dreamlight Valley? <sighs> of course, I love being outside oh. in the village. I really like doing things outdoors. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what's your favorite thing to do outside? Well, right now it's time bending. Um, reading under a tree, that is a good time. Taking a nap on the beach. I don't know if I could ever sleep on a public beach, but I do enjoy beaches. Uh, reading under a tree. Oh, I love to read. What sort of books are your favorites? <laughs> um, I mostly read fantasy. That sounds like a great way to visit imaginative and magical places. I'll have to find some fantasy books in Merlin's library. Oh, she's so cute. It's bittersweet. So much to do, but too little when we love playing the game as much as we all do. Exactly, exactly. Hello, my little corner. How are you? You already finished the main story. Wait, in the expansion? Really? Oh, my. I don't want any spoilers, but <laughs> if I am here currently... Am I incredibly close to finishing the main story or not incredibly close to finishing the main story? No direct. Oh, the directive danger quest. Oh, I don't know. I haven't done that one yet, actually. Yeah, so I'm not sure. I'm sorry. OK, Merlin, I need to find a forageable to gather so that you'll be happy to spend time with me and we can wrap this up. Thank you, thank you. I think another reason why I've been doing so much time bending is because currently the only time bending companion I have is Rapunzel. And I want more of them, but you need so many resources to make a manual for time bending. Been trying to figure out how to link the worlds, and it seems like it's the main house and the dark chest. Oh, gotcha, 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 for storage. Oh, we have these over here. I'm very close. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, so many um, of these, like, rift orb things around here. They updated for Mac, so you're playing along. Amazing. Yeah, I saw that. I think they just posted that today, right? That Mac finally got the update. No, I don't want to open this. I just wanted to pick this up. I'm really interested to see what we get in. I don't know. I'm also in the period of time where I'm enjoying the content we have. I obviously am not feeling short on content currently, but I am really excited to see what they do in the future updates of this expansion and in future expansions, because we have all those like docks in the Stardust port. So I wonder what other kinds of worlds we're going to get with other expansion packs. You haven't unlocked a single 10,000 mist gate. Some of them are 10,000, right? And some of them are like 6,000 or something or 4,000 even. You reached a plot point in Eternity Isle today where you shouted OMG and fangirled big time. Wait, really? Oh, I wonder what that was. 
How do you get Rapunzel? Oh, okay. So when you come to Eternity Isle, you have to do a bit of questing with Jafar to repair a bridge to get access to the rest of the map. And once you do, Rapunzel will be in the Wild Tangle. Four, six, and ten. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I think Merlin is satisfied. Wait, also, are these counting for the star path? They probably should. Yeah, okay. The missed duties will also count. Delight a robot with his favorite gifts. Spend some time with a silly stall owner. Hmm. Okay, okay. Might do maybe a couple more of these and then do something different. Goofy, I choose you. Anyone having a problem with Rapunzel's level five quest? Oh, I haven't done it yet. Wait, am I going in the right direction? Yes. Goofy, <laughs> we just teleported here from the wild tangle and now Goofy's like, let me book it over there. I'm like, sir. Chloe, hello, hello. How are you? Ooh, you're doing some mist grinding. Amazing. Are you working on unlocking areas or upgrading your tool? Oh, wait, this is perfect, actually. Goofy, we're going back to the main valley because we have some bass to catch. No more expansions for you, at least for a while. Gameloft and Avalanche have taken more money than you'll admit. Oh my goodness, that's understandable. To be fair, I don't think we'll get another expansion until probably the end of next year. That would be my guess. Did I notice they changed the outside of Eric's house? I didn't, but actually that reminds me. Um, wait, give me a second to think about what it reminds me of. Oh, the inside of Ariel's house? I don't know if they changed it this update or recently, but it looks beautiful in there. Oh, wait, I think these might actually count for the star path, these critical hit ones. Um, oh, they did. Okay. We only need four more. Good Eric! <laughs> One better give us Atlantis or you're going to be disappointed. I really hope we get Atlantis, but honestly, I kind of hope it's in the main storyline because there have just been way, way, way too many references about it. And I would be kind of sad if it was locked behind an expansion. Also, thank you for everybody who has liked the stream so far. And if you have not, if you're enjoying it, if you could press the like button, that would be fabulous. Okay, how are we doing? Two more, two more. And Eric's statue too. I did see the statue, but I didn't see the house. I know in the houses menu, when you're moving them around from like valley to aisle, some of the icons are of old versions of the house but I don't think I noticed many changes. Oh wait, it looked like, hmm, but I'm not sure if that's just the icon or not. I was wondering if they changed Minnie's house a little bit. That was a nightmare for you. You kept getting fish you didn't want. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think the meadow is where I usually go for bass. And if you fish outside the circles, that is a pretty solid way to do it. Hi, Aubrey. Hello, hello. You don't understand what the little pink hammer icon means when you're crafting. Oh, oh, um, I don't know for sure, but I think I know what that's for. So I don't have a crafting station here anymore. I have one over here. So with multiplayer, there were these things added that um, I don't have in my inventory anymore, but... I might be able to show you in here. Um, potions and enchantments, maybe? 
Um, these glitched pixel shards, you find them when you're playing in Valley Visits. And there should be a way to craft some kind of crafting bonus item with them. I haven't figured out how to do that, but I think there is a way to do that. And I think if you have one of those crafting bonuses applied, that's going to be kept track of up here. I'm not 100% sure. That's just my theory right now. Let me go look at Eric's house and see how it's looking. Also collect this. Work a shift at Che Remy. We can also do that. Did I see that we can craft her crafting table? Wait, aerials? We've been able to do that for a couple updates, but I'm very, very happy about it. Wait a minute. Is it like a different color? It's like more pinky, right? And is it a slightly different texture? If that's way, way off, let me know. I'm not the most observant person. It does look different. I just can't put my finger on what changed. <laughs> hmm. I think it looks good. It looks more pink for sure. Okay. What all can you do in multiplayer? Currently, uh, you can really just visit each other's valleys and run around and you can look in each other's screwed shop. And if you drop items, they can pick it up if you want to share resources. No, I didn't want to talk to you, Goofy. I'm doing time bending stuff. Ooh, I need that pink bow. The pink bow is... Oh no, I'm frozen. Well, that was horrible timing. Oh, I can show you what I meant about Ariel's house. It might have been in a different update, but I don't remember it looking the way that it looks now. Did you eat the thing I told you to eat? There we go. Um, we can see like a lot of stuff in the background. And I think maybe they had started doing that kind of a thing through these like window areas, but I don't remember it looking this detailed or like it had that much perspective. Is this new or did I make it up? Hi, Hassan. Hello, hello. You can't uh, get to the secluded beach. I don't think I've had to find a secluded beach yet. That is new. Okay, it is. That's good because, <laughs> like I said, I'm not always the most observant, but I came in here to find Ariel. Um, I can't remember why I was looking for her, but I was. And I was like, hmm, your house looks really good. <laughs> and I don't remember it looking like this before. I'm so happy Eric's here. Well, that's fabulous. I'm glad that you're happy that Eric's here. Um, let me move your home back to where it belongs, actually, because I didn't do that when I was looking for you. Uh, there. Beautiful. Ignore the fact that Jack is here. I just don't have another space for him. Okay, let's go cook a couple things for Remy. And then... I think I'm going to try to finish Rapunzel's quest. Ooh, or we can see what we can unlock from the star path first. This village smells like... How do you move villagers' homes from one valley to the next? I can show you in a second. Let me just cook a couple meals and then I can explain or display rather, because that'll be easier than trying to talk through it. Blueberry pie and mint candy. Hmm. Also, there are so many new recipes in the expansion. I 
Haven't even started looking at those. Beautiful. Donald, I have your order. And Jack, he looks a little bit stressed, either very interested or very stressed. Uh -huh. Um, I have your order. Yes. Jack looks taller in game than he did in the movie. You think so? I don't know. He was really tall in the movie. Ooh, okay. I got you to friendship level two. That's fabulous. And you... Let me consult my list. I'm pretty sure I decided to make him a gardener. Um, Jack. Yes, he is going to be a gardener for me. How much longer do I have to spend with Goofy? Eight minutes, okay. Let's talk about moving villagers from one place to the next. Am I going to have space on the beach to do this with Eve's ship? Maybe. Let's try. Jack's probably thinking about Christmas. Quite possibly, quite possibly. Uh, yeah, it'll fit here. <laughs> it'll maybe fit here. Um, okay. So if you go into furniture mode, and you go to house, it'll show you all of the villagers houses up at the top and it'll say, it'll have them grayed out and say placed in this village if this is where they are. But if they're on Eternity Isle, like Eve ship, you can click on it and it'll be like, do you wanna move this to Dreamlight Valley? And you can click yes, place house or no, don't place house. So if I place Eve's house here, I can just pop it on down And then this is where it'll be. And then if I decide I don't want it here, which actually I don't currently, um, you can switch it again. Eric, <laughs> that was like the fourth time he came up to me like, wanna play Scramble Coin? I feel like that's a little bit how I am in life with board games, with my partner or like my sisters if they're over. I'm like, hey, do you wanna play a... Want to play a board game? They're like, no. I think she was right here. I'm not going to leave her here forever, but... I will put her here for now. Hi, Brian. How are you? Okay. Beautiful. Goofy, you are a fisher, so let's actually put your skill... Wait, are you still with me, Goofy? Goofy? I think he is still hanging out with me. Let me wait until he catches up. Just to make sure. You can only play for 50 more minutes been playing since you got home oh my god almost eight hours that's amazing honestly been there for sure done that so i get it that was me with fey farm the first day i got fey farm i played for an eternity okay let's catch some fish because i haven't really done any fishing apart from what was necessary for quests so far for eternity isle so it'll be nice to have some. Because I'm sure... Nope, not there. I'm sure I will need them. Can we bring our main villagers to Eternity Isle? You can, yeah. Hi, AD. Hello, hello. You're going through the star path, then you'll do the new quest, then you'll do the expansion. Nice. I think I mostly started with the expansion because that's what I was most excited about. And I don't typically have any issues finishing the star path in time, so we're doing a couple of those star path things right now, but 
for the most part, I've been running around Eternity Isle. Uh, no, not even a little bit aimed in the right direction. Can I get this fishing spot? Not there, I can't. Our avatars are twinning? No way. <laughs> That's so fun. I don't know if I can get this spot. It's very far away. Um, you know what? I'm giving up. <laughs> you were able to get Jack today. Your last thing for him was in the Forgotten Lands. Oh, nice. Yeah, I probably should start doing some of Jack's friendship quests and things soon because I'm sure a lot of it has to do with holidays and he gets his Sandy Claws dream style at the end of his quest. And I know I'm not going to be as interested in that in like February if I wait that long, so. Should probably work on that at some point. You think you glitched one of your quests? Oh no. Okay. Do we have any other spots where we can go? Yes, over here. Han, hello, hello. First time catching me live. Just a quick hello before watching a film. Oh, amazing. Well, thank you for stopping by and saying hi. I appreciate it. Ooh, a snail. Goofy, I hope you're having a fabulous time. I'm having a pretty good time. Oh, I should also... Um, grab some food to feed the monkeys so I can make them my best friends. Do you have any gold slash red circles around here? I don't think so. The dragonfly that was flying over my crops for a second, it made, like, I thought it was a crow. <laughs> It made me think of the crows in Coral Island always coming for your crops. Okay, I don't know if you caught that because it was all the way at the top of my screen for a minute. But Rapunzel was walking with her easel. It was like teleporting around her. Um, put these away. These away. If I have anything to put away. Beautiful. And then the fish. Um, we have a sea snail. And an octopus. And a robot fish. Beautiful. Getting caught up on the Ursula Dream Bundle. Ooh, amazing. I love the Dream Bundle for Ursula. It's very, very cute. Um, Three more minutes with, uh, with Goofy. Okay. Come on, Goofy. Let's go fish in... You know, I don't think I fished at all in the Wild Tangle. Actually, is there a space to fish in the Wild Tangle? Oh, yeah. There's a whole river. I didn't <laughs> remember that that existed. You got a monkey today. Congratulations. Okay, here we go. Not there. Yuri, hello, hello. How are you? Thanks for mentioning feeding animals reminds you to feed the bunnies carrots. Yeah, also the fact that I talked about the fact that I should feed a monkey and then proceeded to immediately forget that's what I was going to do and decide to go fishing over here instead. You just unlocked the last part of Eternity Isle. RIP to your mist. Oh my goodness. That's amazing though. So far, just salmon. You don't have anything fun for me? You were planting pumpkins in the valley and it gave you credit for a missed task, planting in Eternity Isle. 
Well, that's pretty nice, I guess. Not the way it's supposed to work, I'm sure, but pretty nice. You spent a vast amount of your mist on time crafting your tool upgrades. Okay, so actually I have some questions about that. People who have done tool upgrades. Um, are they like temporary upgrades like with the elixirs or are they permanent upgrades? You've noticed most of the fun fish are in the blue or gold spots. Okay, okay. Ooh, here's one. An electric eel. Please be a new memory. Please be a new memory. They're permanent. Okay, okay. Oh, no. Repeat memory. That's no fun. Okay. Do we have any other fun color circles? Ooh, also we have a capybara there. They like cabbage, I think. Oh, I can't go up here. Not where I meant to be. Change of plans. Is this where you came from? No, it's not. I get so lost in these biomes. Sabrina, hello, how are you? Might give you credit for planting them in the normal valley due to you maybe being able to purchase some in the expansion. I don't know. What is this anyway? Oh, an electric eel and... A what? I don't know what that is. The last two memory orbs you've gotten were part of the same memory. Oh, nice. I'm stuck. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's awesome, though. So far, I think I got two memory pieces from the new expansion. One was part, I think, of a Lilo and Stitch memory. And one was part of an Encanto memory. Okay, Goofy. It's been real. It's been fun. But we're going to part ways once I get back to Ancient's Landing. I appreciate you for giving me extra fish, though. Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> Don't leave yet. No worries, Yana. Thank you for lurking. I appreciate it. You don't like scramble coin. You don't get it. That's fair. It's it just requires a lot of strategy and I think a lot of I don't know, but it's not even like if you have good strategy, you're always going to win. But I guess that's kind of how chess is also. And it's a little similar to chess. So I get it. Ooh, an explosion. Okay. Eel explosion. I will take it. Thank you, Goofy. I mean, you didn't give me the explosion, but thank you for the one extra eel. Okay. Back to home we go. What are we up to today? I was doing some star path tasks. Um, I'm probably now going to see what items I want to get from the star path with my tokens. And then I think I'm going to finish up this housewarming quest with Rapunzel. Oh. <laughs> This isn't even a little bit in order. Not me thinking I was putting this in alphabetical order and being incredibly, incredibly wrong. Um, that should be closer. Okay, there you go. Anyone else done with the story from the DLC? I am not, but some people have said that they are. Strategy is not cozy. It's it can be a challenge, but I don't mind it. Honestly, I do not mind it. I do think it's kind of fun. Girl, bro. Hello. Hello. Props that you planted off the courtyard are gone this morning. 
Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. That's definitely disappointing, though. Okay, we have 150 tokens. Let's see what we want to get. Hmm. Uh, is it Kayla or Kayla? Hello, hello. How are you? What are we supposed to do with the little character gifts that are all over? Do we give them to a specific character? Oh, the ones that you can find from time bending. You can use them for crafting or you can gift them to characters in those collections. It seems like it's supposed to give them some sort of hangout buff, but I don't know if it actually does or not. Uh, do we want to get the raccoon? Let's check out the wallpaper. I just kind of really want to get... Ooh, I really want to get to this. Let's get this wallpaper. You got to reorganize your storage rooms to compensate for the new things. Yes, I'm putting it off, which you can probably tell by the fact that I have my storage outdoors because I am not an outdoor storage girly. I, I don't really enjoy that very much, but... I enjoy it more than redoing all of my storage rooms right now. Katie, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. I'm happy you found the channel. And I'm happy you were able to make it to stream. Okay. Yes. Let's buy the antlers. Let's buy the boots. Actually, ooh, we can buy the coat here. How much did I need for the coat? 30. Let's buy the lamp. And then let's buy the coat. Yes, amazing. Okay. Uh, and this wallpaper. Why not? Why not? It's it is Kayla. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Beautiful. Let's take a look at all of these things. Oh yeah, Goofy, come over here for a second so I can tell you to leave. Anyone else think scramble coin is so hard? It's challenging. I would say sometimes I do well. Sometimes I, it's, a, it's a pretty even split for me, I think, between winning and losing. But I do still have a good time with it. You're obsessed with the star path rewards this season. They're so good. Uh, Let's walk into the house to look at the wallpapers. Where did I get this top? It's cute. Oh, um, it's actually a full outfit. And it was a reward for getting the expansion pass in the first week. So you can still get it if you get the expansion pass. Uh, I guess we can just check it out here. Ignore my mannequins. Eventually I need to make a... A room that's like a wardrobe kind of thing. I just haven't gotten there yet. Ooh, I like these wallpapers a lot. Hi, Natalia. Hello, hello. The texture on this wallpaper is gorgeous. And I really like this one as well. These are nice. Oh, my goodness. You thought if we put people on the new island, they would stay there. Why does Vanellope show up on the valley? You moved her house out. Oh, you have to, there's a different menu to select where people can or cannot hang out. I can show you in a bit, but you'll have to give me a minute. You'll have to give me a minute. Oh, OK. They weren't lying when they said <laughs> that these were giant ornaments. I mean, I'm assuming they're not actually intended to be used indoors, but that's kind of funny. Those are fun. OK. Let's go back to, uh, I don't know, I feel like I should try the outfit on or like the clothing items on in the Frosted Heights. And then I can also explain about the characters, like blocking them from your valley. Don't let me forget. How was I able to get so much mist already? 
Um, I just run around with the hourglass a lot because I love time bending and you get a lot of mist from time bending. Also, just foraging around Eternity Isle gives you um, levels in these achievements, which give you a lot of mist. Also, if you do Dreamlight duties when you're on Eternity Isle, it'll give you mist instead of Dreamlight, so that's pretty nice. Okay, let me go up to Frosted Heights and then I will show the map thing. Okay, so moving characters' homes between the valley and the isle, you do in furniture mode. But giving character permissions to visit different areas is done through the map, actually. Uh, you might see this little button over here. For me, on keyboard, it's the F button. Um, on Xbox controller, I believe it's the Y button. If this isn't showing up, you might have to toggle filters, which it'll tell you the button to do that down here um, to make it accessible. But when you click on this, it'll show you all of the villagers in Dreamlight Valley. If they're in full color, that means they have permission to be in like the valley or the aisle, wherever you are. Rapunzel is currently grayed out, so that means she doesn't have permission to be there. Look at Eric. Eric's coming to ask me to play Scramble Coin. <laughs> um, so like, let me find someone on the map. I don't know if they disappear immediately or not, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the map, but okay, so like Moana. Uh, she's currently fully highlighted, but if I turn her off, uh, no, it didn't change it on the map right now, but that would mean that she's not allowed to wander around Dreamlight Valley. They will still show up if they have active quests, though. Okay, you know what, Eric? Let's just play a game of Scramble Coin. That's fine. That's fine. If you're wondering the giant ornaments remind you of office buildings or mall Christmas decor. Oh, yeah, they do. They're really cool. I feel like I need to redo my entire Frosted Heights now. Um... Let's rock with, uh, I don't know, these ones. Eric, stop. <laughs> yeah, Eric just, I don't know, just really, really wants to play Scramble Coin. I can't even blame him necessarily, but still, it's funny. Anyone on Switch just keep getting kicked? Uh, somebody else mentioned that earlier, so I don't think you're the only one. Um, borders, let's put you here and move you there. And Scrooge, let's move you there. Oh, I don't even know what this ice does. I also don't really want to find out if I'm being completely honest. Uh... Let's use Nala and let's move her here. Oh, wait, no, that was a really bad idea. <laughs> that was a really bad idea, but oh, well, you win some, you lose some. Let's move you here. You can't wait to play Scramble Coin. It seems like so much fun. It is a lot of fun. Sometimes you make silly choices, though, and then you wonder why you did such a thing. Um. Hmm. Can I replace you with you? Oh, I can. Okay, you go there. Nala, you go... Here. Simba, you go... Here and here, I think. 
You're going to redo your Christmas plaza since the Christmas items from last year are yellow. I hope they change those soon because I feel like they're not supposed to be like that. Oh, we are getting absolutely demolished. Okay. <laughs> That's fun. Mmm, good times. Um... No, we'll just keep you, send you there, send you there. Uh, there's nowhere good for you to go. We'll just send you there, I guess. Hi, Owen. How's it going? A lot of the villagers' gifts are found in Eternity Isle, so people don't have it, can't level up their characters. I've heard that it's not supposed to be like that. So hopefully that gets changed. Okay, we lost, but we still got two ranking points and the biggest bonus of all. Now Eric will leave us alone <laughs> and we can go about our business in peace without him running to us at uh, any given moment. What do you have to say? Are you about to talk some trash? I've been there. Sometimes the tides just aren't with you. Okay, Eric. <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> Good talk. Hi, Lily. How are you? Okay, I wanted to look at the items that we got from the star path. I wish we had a star path filter. Okay, we have the antlers. I need to change my hair to, like, get the full effect of this. Um, ooh, this coat is stunning. Ignore the outfit underneath the coat. That was my exploration outfit from... A while ago. Mm, I don't know what we would wear under this. We could wear like a skirt. That would be cute. Or just like some jeans and not that. Turtleneck maybe. No. I don't know. Do we have anything like bluish that I'm thinking of? No. I don't know. It's a cute jacket, though. Very cute. Let me change my hairstyle. You think they changed the Christmas presents, too? I did notice that. Yes. Ooh. Oh, no, honey. I want to zoom in on the hair, though. There we go. This is beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I feel like a winter druid princess. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Okay. You may put on your other outfit, though. There we go. Beautiful. What else did I have on my to-do list? Oh, we need to finish this quest for Rapunzel. So let's actually pop back to Eternity Isle. The ball gown from the Star Path is beautiful. It looks it. I haven't unlocked it yet, but once I do, I feel like I'm probably going to wear it forever. Um, I need to craft a tropical companion home. Electric power. I don't know what that's for. Tropical companion home. Tropical wood, bamboo, flowers. Okay. Thank you for 81 likes on the stream, by the way. I appreciate it so much. That's fabulous. Um, place the tropical companion home anywhere in the jungle. Okay, I shall. Maybe Cinderella one is the lucky one from the DLC because her mouse got her out of her room in time. I doubt it just because I feel like whenever we get clues like that, the answers are always very obvious and usually words that are always associated with the character so like when we got the racing princess it was Vanellope because she literally is a racer so I 
think I do mostly vibe with the theory that it's probably going to be Oswald. Because he's literally called the Lucky Rabbit. Okay. Return to Rapunzel. Rapunzel. I've done the thing for you. The outfit you got from Dream Snaps is so nice. Wait, what is it? The capybaras look so happy with their new house. Thank you for all your help from the capybaras and me. You really helped make our houses into homes. Oh, sweet. That was easy. Well, then, I think if I'm not mistaken, by finishing that quest, I should now be able to move Rapunzel's house. Let's see, let's see. You just got the antlers last night. They're super cute. They're very, very cute. Ooh, the floral green jumpsuit. That's a great, great outfit. Okay, I can move her. Hmm. <laughs> Do we just move her house to the valley now? Or do we wait? I kind of want to move it to the valley now. I sort of know where I want her to be. Has anyone relocated any of the Eternity Isle people yet? Like their homes? I want her to be in the forest. You would wait. Is it important for the... Like, do we have to have it? Well, I feel like it wouldn't let us move it if we had to have it there. There's a Rapunzel quest that has something to do with her house. Hmm. I kind of want her to be back here in this corner. You move for a minute just in case I want to. Well, actually, I can just get rid of you and then just undo if I end up hating it. Um. We move you and you and you. Hi, Samantha and Sherry Cola. Hello, hello. How are you? Scrooge and Remy's stores need to look more Atlantean. They, mm, yeah, I mostly just don't really know why they needed to be there in the first place. I don't know. I don't mind popping between the valley and the aisle, so I would just have preferred to not have the shops there. I think I might put it here. You're good. You were lurking on your drive home. Amazing, amazing. Um, Hi, Holly. How are you? Yeah, I think I want to put it kind of here, not you. And I don't mind it being kind of hidden, like a little bit hidden, but I don't want it to be completely hidden. Hmm. Oh, there's path there. What if I move you? And I probably will give this place like permanent decoration at some point. That's not right at this moment. Do we have smaller versions of this tree? We do. Let me get a smaller one. But for now, I just want it to look like it belongs. Are you smaller? No. Oh, you are, though. Good but tired. Just got home from work. You're going to eat dinner while watching the stream. Amazing, amazing. I hope work went well, even though you're feeling tired coming home from it. And then fir tree. Can I get a giant one? Uh, not the most giant, but it might do. Does Scrooge's store have different items in the aisle versus the valley? It does not. There we go. Look at it. Okay. I'm excited. 
I want all of my like castle buildings slash princess houses for the most part to be in the forest. So yeah, popping Rapunzel back here is fun. I'll probably end up changing up the stuff around it, but for now, for a little quick build, I think it's pretty, pretty good. Um, what else did I have on my list of things to do? Star Path, Raps Quest. Oh, I want to see if we have the ability to craft any of the ancient machines. That would be nice. You love that Eternity Isle is split down the middle. Like left brain, right brain, and you need both to work together. That's kind of a fun interpretation. Okay, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. You just got the valley visit station? Amazing. Do you have your valley all like prepped and ready for visitors? Okay, well that's just disrespectful that I couldn't get to that. All right. I want to go back to the aisle, but I think I'm actually going to go by way of the palace. I know we don't have to, but I kind of just want to go see the Stardust port again. Do I think they're going to make more DLC? Absolutely. They alluded to it in the showcase and also in game. We have this new port now where Merlin was talking about other places we're going to get access to. So essentially each of these arches is like a dock that could slash probably will end up having some kind of vessel to bring us to different worlds. So Eternity Isle is just the first. It looks good there. Thank you. You just restarted. So it's a mess. No worries. No worries. OK. Oh, oh. Before I actually forget, um, I need to feed these critters. Let me pop that here. You're back. You just got home from your last day of class from your first semester of college. Amazing. Oh, well, I only have two of these, so I guess we'll feed these to the monkeys. Monkey. Oh, there you are. Wait, no, that was a dragonfly. <laughs> That was not, in fact, a monkey. Here's a monkey. Would you please allow me to feed you and Never not pop out of existence once I finally am able to approach you? Thank you. Thank you. The one that did it was the one over by the original time bending station. As soon as I caught it, it would literally poof out of existence. There we go. Whose house from the DLC is the best? I really like Rapunzel's, but I like Princessy. Oh, wait, we unlocked it. Cute. I mean, we have our Jester monkey we're hanging out with, but maybe we should hang out with this guy in honor of unlocking him. Come here, little monkey monkey. Oh my goodness, I feel like I know a lot of people were saying when we saw the little hint of it that they don't really like the capybara pose, but I feel like I feel like the team really stepped it up with the animations for the poses with critters. I like it. Let me actually pull out the capybara and we can look at that one too. Merlin was definitely hinting at new worlds when he mentioned the various ways to travel in the future. Exactly, yeah. Because, right, she goes through a whole series of animations, so you can take the picture whenever you want, and it'll give you different options, even though it's all the same pose, you know? I don't know. I like the new ones. Okay, back to the Jester Monkey. Um... Did I say hi, Mutual Sunshine? Hello, hello, if I did not say hi. 
Are we saying the floating island is the Eternity Isle? Wait, what floating island? Um, time bending. How do you get the option to pose with your critters? Oh, um, so you have to have them following you and then in camera mode. Um, look at the left bottom corner and you'll have to change the image format or no, change the camera mode to be where you're standing. It's not like a selfie. And once you do that, you'll see this little paw print. And that's how you do it. Yeah, but you can't do it in selfie mode. You can't move Rapunzel's house. You've done the door quest and got rid of the vines. You have to finish the whole, um, I think it's called the housewarming quest. Once you finish that, it'll give you the option to move it. Ancient machine. Oh, I think we would be able to make each of these. I kind of want to see what they do. Hmm. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. This animation is so cool. Make this one. I love this so much. Oh my goodness. And it's got the little like clock ticking sound along with it as well. You wish they separated the Rift in Time quest from the normal ones like they did in the collections. I like having them all together. I I don't mind the new collections tab, but it's too many clicks to get where you're going. And I think if they separated the quest, it would be too many clicks for me. You did the jack quest to get him. The tree spawned along the edge for, um, and the pumpkin was turned to the side. So finding it took forever. Oh my goodness. Combine resources into auto cookers, into gardeners, into vacuums. Oh, I only need to play scramble coin two more times to unlock the next thing for that. Okay, well, let's see if we can take a look at these. Uh... First, do I have a gardener person I can hang out with? Hmm. Mickey is a gardener, but Mickey has a quest for me. You know what? Let's pick up this quest, harvest these crops, plant some more, and then check out these machines. Oh, Mickey. Hi. Sorry, pal. I've been exploring and I was wondering, could you help me do something special for Minnie? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be me saying, sure, how can I help? Not you, Mickey, but okay. <laughs> well, I've seen all kinds of incredible flowers around Eternity Isle and I want to give Minnie, Minnie some that are just as special as she is. But a few of them are kind of hard to get to without magic, like those shiny blue ones in the dunes. Or the nice orange ones in or Ancient's Landing. Oh, and I also saw some big green ones that were moving around in the Wild Tangle. Yeah, those seem kind of dangerous. Don't worry, I know just the flowers you're talking about. I'll see if I can find those for you. In the meantime, be careful if you go exploring the aisle. Don't worry, I will. Okay, good talk, Mickey. Would you mind hanging out with me? You've been wondering if you pick up a chest to move it to another room, do you lose all the stuff in it? You can't move chests between rooms if there are things in them. You have to empty it first to move it to a different room. It would be nice if you could move them between rooms, honestly. It would be really nice. Okay, where are we going? I feel like sometimes I have to press the button like 50,000 times 
to get the uh, like time anomaly to open. OK, let's pick these up while we're here. Oh, I don't think I have any eggs on me to feed to the cobras. Let's buy some uh, seeds. I think I'm going to buy like 20 of each just so I have them. I've only planted crops a couple of times, but every time I did, I came and bought the seeds each time. And that's just not something I need to do. I could buy way more than this. But I'm also not expecting this garden to be my permanent setup, so we'll see, we'll see. Buy seeds from the glittering dunes. Amazing. Okay. To the wild tangle to get some more seeds. I am so happy that they gave us this critter house. I hope they gave us they give us more options for critter houses in the future because I love having them out in the valley. But I feel like the one option we had before it just doesn't look as pretty as I would like it to. Okay, and these. Wow. Have I done dream snaps for this week? I have not yet. I feel like I'm going to do it off stream. I'm still trying to think of an idea for dream snaps for this week. Would you like to eat this? Oh, she's frozen again. There you go. Why is Jafar a hologram? Um, I think he explains it um, when you have the story, but I think he's trapped somewhere right now. Can you use the auto cooker in main valleys too? You should be able to, but you can only unlock it if you have the expansion. Okay, what else did I need to do? Oh yes, buy seeds from Goofy here. Lurking and working, watched yesterday's stream this morning. Well, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Okay, celery seeds. Yam seeds. Grape seeds. And cosmic fig seeds. Beautiful. Okay. Let me empty out the seeds I don't need so I don't end up ruining my planting. This is such a chaotic way to go about this. I am so sorry. <laughs> Does anybody else ever do things in a certain way sometimes and you're like, why is this the method I decided to go with? But I mean, it's too late now to <laughs> change it. So it is what it is. OK, and then all the 15s, we just pippity pop over. Uh, there, that should work. Where to find a spider like thing? Um, if you go fishing in the um, glittering dunes, it should be a scorpion. OK, Mickey, do your thing. Give me some extra crops, please. Why do you actually like the outfit that you get from Ur the Ursula Dream Bundle? The outfits are good. They're definitely good outfits from that dream bundle. How many gardeners do I have? You're giving me lots of extras, Mickey. OK, I don't usually stop for these, but with new crops, might as well. OK, there we go. And you know what I haven't gotten, I don't think since getting the expansion. I don't think I've unlocked any gardening memories. 
New, hello, hello, hello. How are you doing today? Today in the aisle right now, I'm doing some gardening because we're going to check out the ancient machines. But for the most part today, I was doing some star path questing or like some star path tasks. And after we um, check out these machines, if we have some time left in stream, I might try to unlock a couple more areas in the aisle. What are you supposed to do with the dolls? Um, you need to find a special tree in the Forgotten Lands and put them there. You should have multiple dolls that you'll find around the valley. One thing you don't like, the character's favorite gifts can be DLC related if you don't have the DLC. I heard from the official Discord that that's a glitch right now, and then that should be fixed. I mean, it's not fixed currently, but they should be fixing it. Does everyone remember, well, I mean, not everyone, but do some of you remember when there was this really weird gardening glitch where your character would never garden in a straight line? They would always turn in different directions when you were planting things. You're doing well. Can't wait to get on the game later. Have you been playing the DLC new? And if so, what's been your favorite part so far? Ma'am, plant. Yes, it bugged you so much. It was so annoying. <laughs> and the same thing would happen when you were harvesting too. It wasn't just when you were planting. You would start harvesting and then all of a sudden they would turn in a weird direction and it would ruin up the flow. Uh, don't water these because we need to figure out the situation with... Are these going to be under ancient civilization? I would hope so. Mm. No. Are these under appliances or utilities? Okay, they are under utilities. Okay. I see, I see. So I'm guessing, because this is a basic one, a basic ancient gardener, and I think when you level up your... Hourglass, you can unlock additional, like, better versions of these. And they probably have a larger square where they work. Interesting. Well, let me pop you there for now. And in fact, let me pop these down as well, and we can look at these. Lisa, hello, hello, how are you? You can't get Rapunzel because it says you only have seven sundials, but you need to have all ten in your inventory. Hmm. But you can't find them anywhere. Wait, were these the things that were kind of flying around? They were sort of golden and you had to catch them? They were all over Eternity Isle for me, so... Um... You might just have to run around. They also moved. They, di they didn't stay in the same spot. Um, okay, for the gardener to work, it needs to be set up on land where crops can grow. Plant seeds or harvest crops with a single action. Ooh. Wait, you can plant seeds or harvest crops? But it costs mist to do so. What? Wait. Dig three. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. <laughs> okay. So essentially, if we set this up somewhere, I have, I don't mind spending some mist checking this out. Um, so essentially, if you set this up somewhere where you don't currently have things growing, like if I set this up here, 
What is the ancient vacuum used for? I'm not sure yet, but we're going to check it out. How am I liking the update and DLC so far? I'm loving so far. Loving, loving, loving. Okay, so then if I check this... Dig 15. No holes near the machine to plant in. Okay, so we can use mist to literally just dig up the spots around it automatically. It gives us the resources from digging it up. This is really cool. I mean, I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of this, uh, but it's really neat that we have it. And then if you wanted to, you could select seeds. I probably have to have them in my inventory. So let me just do, I don't know, let me just do some cosmic figs. You notice that the animal companion can go into the house now. Yeah, I've seen it following me inside, which is pretty cool. Okay, select seeds. Okay, and then we can do the 15 of these, and then it can plant these automatically for us. And then it'll water them for us. And then when they're ready, if we went to it, it would just automatically harvest them for us. This is wild. Whoa. That is so cool. Even if you didn't see anything on the Ursula Dream Bundle, you would know that Ursula would be up to no good. Oh, honestly, yes. Although, to be fair, out of all the villains that we have in game, I feel like Ursula's the most chill, like, I don't know. She hasn't been doing anything super, super nefarious, I don't think. You really don't like digging, you would use it so much. That is so cool. I love that they added this. Um, You love my valley? Oh, thank you so much. You've been playing with the DLC since Tuesday, using all of your free time. Big, big mood there. Okay, I think this one is the cooker. So let's see how this works. Choose the ingredients and quantities you'd like to cook. It costs mist. Let it cook for a while and then come back and collect your meals. Okay. Select ingredients. So can we choose recipes? Like, I know people are probably going to be here for the pumpkin puffs, right? So if I wanted to make some pumpkin puffs and autofill... Start cooking. Hmm. Huh? Oh, and then you can pick how many you want to make. And it looks like maybe you can make 10 at a time. With the basic auto cooker, and I'm assuming you can probably make more than that at a time with the better auto cookers. Okay, okay. Nice. You found the last doll in the Forgotten Land, so look there if you don't find them all in one spot. That's a good tip. And then... Yeah, I mean, it takes some time. But I also assume it's probably faster if you have one of the better ones. And then what's this vacuum situation? The ancient vacuum scans an area in a biome for night thorns and splinters of fate. Upgrade it to detect even more item types. Select the, des uh, the desired items and collect them from a single location. Cost missed. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay, okay. I need to find an area that has splinters of fate and put this there to see, or night thorns. I have a bunch of night thorns in my main valley. Let me do that. But essentially, that's like, I mean, it's called a vacuum, so that makes sense, right? But you put it in an area and with this basic version, it only works for night thorns or splinters of fate, but it looks like if you get a better version from upgrading your hourglass and crafting better ones, it can also identify things like rocks or maybe stumps or tree like um, pieces of wood or things like that. And it'll just 
suck them into the machine. <laughs> It'll just suck them into the machine and then you can just come and collect them. I think I saw some herbs in there too. That was pretty cool. Where do I have a night thorn? Where are my night thorns? Hmm. Oh, here's one. Ooh, here's also one of these. Let me do this first. How did I collect so much mist? Mostly from running around with the hourglass tool and time bending, but also just from foraging around Eternity Isle. Doing a little bit of dreamlight duties, but I didn't even do that really intentionally. They just kind of happened. Hi, kitty. How are you? You wonder if you get memories when you use auto cook? I don't know. Probably not would be my guess. The machine sounds like the machine Randall made to collect screams. Kind of. Yeah. OK, let me pop this. Here. I wonder what the area of operation is like if I put it here, will it catch both of these night thorns? Oh, wait, it looks like it works on the entire biome. What? One. Let me count how many night thorns I have on Dazzle Beach, because it looked like it was picking up 10 night thorns. Two, three. This might be where they spawn today, actually. Four, five, six. Hmm. Seven. I really I've been watching a lot of content about the expansion, but it's mostly been VODs and I haven't watched anything beyond where I've gotten in the game. So everything is blowing my mind a little bit because this is my first time actually experimenting with it. Yeah, I think this works for the entire biome. So if you set one of these up like at the entrance to the biome, or if you wanted to pop it by Goofy stall in each biome or something, that would probably work. Like, where can I put you? I don't know. Let me just put you by the lifeguard tower for now. Select. OK. Oh, you can select how many night thorns you want it to do that are in the area. Ten. Collect 10. Whoa! Wait, that's so cool. It literally just sucked them out of existence. <laughs> and then... If we go back to the vacuum... Okay, it just gave us the resources. That is amazing. Okay. <laughs> Time to, um, hmm, I wanted to open more areas, but now, now I kind of want to upgrade my hourglass so I can make some better things. But we pass on the mini game doing that. That's true. But the mini game, I feel like eh, it's not always that nice to me. I don't know. It's kind of nice to have something just clean up and gather all the resources for you. Let me go to Eternity Isle again. Does that count as you collecting them for the star path? I do not know. I don't have that task open right now, so there's no way for me to check. Um... What do I need to upgrade my hourglass again? You know what? Maybe I should. <laughs> I'm so torn. Upgrade hourglass. I would need 10k. I could do it. Ooh, and we would get these things as options. Do it. It's going to help declutter the island so much. Exactly. 
Oh, so it looks like there are three levels for your hourglass. Okay. I wonder if it'll add more in the other drops of the expansion or if three is always the maximum. Let's see if our things are done also. I also need to water these. Oh, Mickey, you don't still need to be here. I am so sorry, my friend. Go live your life. Have a great time. Actually, do you want to play? <laughs> I'll play Scramble Coin with you later, Mickey. Okay, so two of them are done so far. Yeah, it definitely takes a little while, but I feel like there's a chance that the better auto cookers will go faster. But also, you can just have some made while you're off line, you know? Come back and they'll be ready for you. What do I need to put away? Everything. Got it. You love all the machines, you would automate everything. It's definitely nice for more casual gameplay when you're... Um, yeah, when you're wanting to do mostly decorating or something and you don't want to do all of the running around. You cleared out the trees, it was too much and you could barely see anything, it helped so much. Wait, the trees where? Okay, we got those. Nothing for here. Everything else is not aisle stuff. Okay. Noted, noted. Okay, we can now make the regular ones. Oh, okay. So you have to make a basic one and then you upgrade it to a regular one. So I would need two level two cores and a basic vacuum to craft this. I kind of like that. So that's nice because I don't think they changed this. Let me confirm though, to make sure I'm not lying to you all. Um, when they gave us chests, they didn't give us the opportunity to upgrade our chests. No, they still didn't. Um, which would have been really nice because now I have just like a bunch of small chests that I'm never going to do anything with. But if we used them as an ingredient in like the medium or large ones, that would be nice to just kind of upgrade them. The scramble coin game has you scratching your head. They always get more points like their players are OP. <laughs> I think it depends on which villager you're playing against. Oh, OK. And we can also craft these, but we need glimmers and cracked palace tower. We need loot heads and glimmer, piano leg, jokester of the month frame, broken sword. I think the glimmers are found in the realms. So we might run around the realms a little bit. Listen, I'm obsessed with the new time bending skill. Also, thank you so much for over 100 likes on the stream. That means a lot to me and I appreciate it. So thank you. Thank you. Need so much stuff for this. I am going to need to buy or make these eventually. We'll save that for a little bit later, though. Let's take a trip to the realms. Have I finished the main quest? I have not. No. I'm trying to take my time as much as possible when I've played probably like 15 hours in the last three days. But, um, yeah, so no, I have not completed the main quests yet. In all of the new valleys, it's so much easier now with like the new, oh, 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 gotcha, gotcha. You cleared all the trees in all of the new biomes. I got you. You removed all the removable trees in Eternity Isle too? Oh my goodness. I'm sure that was probably helpful. Also, uh, hello, Evelyn. You can't wait to get off of work at two and watch the stream and play. Amazing. Okay. Oh, wait, you know what? It's fine. We're already here. I was like, let me grab Rapunzel, my only time bending friend. Listen, if you're time bending, bring your time bending buddy with you. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay. Get those extra resources if you can. I 
have noticed that it seems like each realm only really has one or two items in it. Fine glimmer. Beautiful. Let's eat this. This mysterious swirling light seems to contain a tiny spark of creativity within it. Who knows what you could use it to make? Nice. Bye, Brian. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. We have more stuff here. I love the realm so much, especially the Moana realm. I know it kind of just looks like our beach a little bit, but it's so peaceful here. How do you customize the signs on the chest? Oh, um, those signs you can craft under functional items. They're called custom signposts. And when you place them, if you walk up to them, there's an option to interact. And then you can change the symbol. I had to um, move the chests in order to reach them to interact. Because you can't really do it if the chest is right in front of it. Welcome back, Prib. How are you? You wish there was an icon somewhere showing which materials are from Eternity Isle versus Dreamlight Valley. Oh, yeah, there's not an icon, but um, nope, down here. But you can always check in the collections tab. Have I only found Glimmer while I've been here now? Maybe. Because before I was finding other resources here. Yeah, only Glimmer. Okay. You're actually overwhelmed. It's so unlike you because you love games you have to grind, but the Star Path character quest, the Isle Story quest, and the gates to unlock feels like a lot. It does feel like a lot, but I think... I mean, I don't know that this is true, but in my brain, I think think a lot of people probably feel overwhelmed because if you've been playing the game for a while, it's been a long time since you had a lot of things to do. And it feels like a lot having a lot of things to do now. But the thing I try to remember is that there's no time limit where you have to finish everything. And you can literally do whatever you want whenever you want. So I try to just keep in mind that it's fun to have all the new things to explore and there's no right or wrong way to go about exploring the new content. Mm, over there feels like I'm going to have to go all the way around. Would I say the Ursula bundle is worth it? You have 4,000 moonstones and you're tempted. I really like the Ursula bundle. I like having her walking around. I think she's easier to find. And I like being able to give her a role to help out um, around the valley. I also think the quests were really cute, but um, really it's up to you. I really enjoy the Ursula bundle, but if those things don't sound very tempting to you, then I would say save your moonstones for something that you're more excited about. You're doing well about halfway through the movie before the tiniest prib decided. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen, I feel like half a movie night is a very adult thing that just happens. For me, it's not usually because of children. Well, I mean, it's I don't have children. So, <laughs> so for me, it's not because of children, but it's because I get too tired and then I turn it off halfway through and then you just resume the next day and it's fine. Can I find my way out again? I always get lost in the frozen realm. I think this is right, though. Look at me. Just a question. The items that they sent in the mailbox showed up in mailbox, but not in inventory. Are you sure that you claimed them? If you're positive that you claimed them and they're not showing up, I would say reach out to support. Hmm.
There's nowhere there. I think I have to go through here. The Ursula quests are also just a fun little addition, and having her Vanessa skin is cool. I agree. I really like having her as Vanessa. I feel a little bit bad, just like I kind of feel bad sometimes when... Wait, what? Is it over here somewhere? I kind of feel bad when I leave Ariel as a human or a mermaid for too long as well. Is there another area to this realm that I just don't know exists? Where is this telling me to go? Um... I am so confused. No, it wants me to go that way, but like, there's no that way to go. Hmm. Something isn't right here. Here. No, I don't know. Unless there's literally a part of the Lion King realm that I just don't know that it exists. I'm lost. That's interesting. It makes you want to have a bit of an explore in there. That would be, yeah. I'd be interested to see what you explore. Merlin has you upgrade the tools as part of a quest in the main story. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, I probably will anyway. I assume it'll be like, um, because I was watching someone's VOD where they were working on... Which quest was it? I think it was one of the first quests that you do with Jafar. And it told them to upgrade Goofy Stall, but I had already done that. And it didn't glitch the quest out for me, which is fine. So... I think it's one of those things where if you do it beforehand, it's okay. But if you don't, the game will tell you to. Have I seen the update trailer? Is there an update trailer? For the free update? I saw the one for Rift in Time that's been available for a while. I didn't know there was a free update trailer. Wait a second. It came out like 30. Why 30 minutes ago? OK, everyone pause. <laughs> I'm still here. Don't leave. If I can find it, I'll pull it up. Also, it's so weird. The Dreamlight Valley um, YouTube channel is yeah, there's such a roundabout way that you have to find it. Oh, we do have one. Do I have a window tab or like scene that I can go to? I think I do. What about this one? This is not the window. Why is it so giant? What if I make it like this? OK, give me one second. I'm going to pull it up. We can all watch it together. If you all aren't interested, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you don't care, um, and I guess that's all right. Let me transition to this. It should work. It's going to be silent, though, just because I feel like sometimes the trailers hit me with copyright stuff. But here it is. Let's see. Maybe it'll show some other premium shop stuff. The Pumpkin King has arrived. Ooh, there he is. Also, if you can't see it right now, let me know, but you should be able to see it. We have the Sandy Claus outfit. Welcome your friends with Valley Visits. Cute. Love to see it. OK, you do see it. Good. Thank you. I'm still like trying to adjust to OBS, so I want to make sure I'm doing things right. Discover the new royal. Oh, it looks so good. I love this star path. It's a really good one. I mean, just want to see if they show us anything new that we haven't seen already. Premium shop receives new items. Mm hmm. Oh, the rose set. Yes. Oh, my goodness. OK. Elsa looking beautiful. All right. Any post credit scene? <laughs> Outfits on fleek. Indeed. OK, the one thing or the couple of things. This set, stunning, absolutely gorgeous with the, oh, the Beauty and the Beast, the gold, the rose. We have one for our hourglass here. 
stunning. And yeah, this looks like our palace, but with lights and like icicle lights. That is really cool. That's sweet. Um, where's my game scene again? Uh, in game, in game, where did you go to? Oh, there. What is this? Oh, this is the uh, the Pumpkin King Returns update trailer. It's the trailer for the update that we have right now for Dreamlight Valley. Usually it ends up dropping the same time that the update does. But for some reason, this time it dropped today. So there it is. There it is. Better not have to pay for another palace just for the lights. Rue, <laughs> I am so sorry to tell you that I pretty much guarantee that's what's going to happen. I do, I do. Oh my goodness. You know what I need to do? What about it? Okay, I can do that for you, Maui. Um, I want to see how I'm tracking on supplies for changing one of my villagers' roles to be a time bender. Oh, also, don't I need to do something for you, Merlin? Where'd you go? What do I need to do for you? Um, remember that the well is a source of great power. Use the magic it bestows upon you wisely. Okay, okay. Timeless treasures, what should I do? Have you examined the time bending table? There must be something there that's caught your eye. Simply use your hourglass to find the pieces you'll need to recreate. Okay, I need to build something at the time bending table. I'm so sorry, that was a loud hiccup. So our house skin gets a house skin. It seems like it. It almost feels like the haunted mansion with the before Christmas mansion. But instead of being a bundle that's the same price as one house skin, it's two house skins. That's the price of <laughs> that's the price of two house skins. Uh, I, w I really want to make this vinyl holder. So let's make this. This animation is the best. I love it. Is this the Borderlands? Uh, no, this is the... Um, I forget what it's called. It's like the main area that we kind of first come to. The docks. This is the docks. You might have a bug. You're trying to take a pic of Jack's throne with Jack. Is he supposed to sit in it? I've not done that quest, so I don't know. Sorry. Okay, let's water these. Ooh, these are ready, so we can check that out. Um, and this also. Well, no, these are still cooking, so I'll leave that for a little while. Um, and over here, we can check. And we can harvest our 30 things here. Amazing. The only thing with this is that obviously you don't get the bonuses for having like a gardening buddy with you. So you just get the base number of crops. But if you're just vibing and you want everything automated, I feel like that's still a really good trade off. Been lurking, but the stream has helped you realize how to time bend effectively and you don't hate it anymore amazing wow. i'm glad lauren time bending is literally my favorite so if i made you not hate it anymore i'm pretty pleased with that okay you're gonna go back here this glimmer we're gonna pop in here just there for now and then let me go back to the... Oh, wait, we have to place that item that we just made. Hmm. Can I look at it inside? I feel like it's going to be something that I should set on a table to look at. Let's go up to our... <laughs> to our mannequin and giant ornaments floor. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Do you only get this new island by buying the DLC? You do, yes. These look to you like end game tools. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that makes sense because even though the game just released fully this week, uh, a lot of people who play the game have probably been playing it for a while. So I think 
or people who get to the expansion probably have been playing it for a while. So I think they probably wanted to give some things for people who have kind of done all there is to do and they just want to have things automated. I feel like it's going to be in decor. Do we think that? No, of course not. Um, <laughs> miscellaneous? Yeah. Okay, I want to um, inspect and spy on this a little bit. Just got here and started the update today. What is time bending? Time bending is the new skill that you can do with the hourglass tool that comes in the expansion pass. Okay, so we have the Lion King. We have Beauty and the Beast. We have Luca. Look at baby Luca. What a cutie. It's a little blurry. I'm sure you're probably having a hard time seeing it on stream, but... Uh, we have Zootopia, we have what, uh, Toy Story, I think the second to last one is. And the last one looks like Moana to me. I think that's Maui's hook. It's just a little hard to see. But that's so fun! I love that. Yeah, you actually like it now? Amazing. I feel like there was also a little bit of a learning curve. I feel like I finally have become a little bit more efficient with time bending in the past, like, 24 hours, probably. Um, okay, we've done that. What was it that I was trying to do? Think, think, think. I got distracted with the trailer. I honestly did. I'm thinking about those tools. <laughs> um... I might have to just talk to Merlin to finish that quest. Yeah. Are you here, my friend? I also need to water those. No, he's not. He was here when he wanted me to do something, but now that I've actually done it, I need to report back. Yes. <laughs> Avatar me, that's how I feel about the situation, too. <laughs> um, now I'm going to have to pop back to the other valley, I think, to talk to him. Okay, water you. I like that we can just fast travel between the two. It makes it pretty, pretty easy to go to and fro. Okay, Merlin, my man. There you are. Just so you know, I've got Wait, where are you? Where are you? Okay. Also, I think one of the things about the auto cookers, auto gardeners, auto vacuumer, all that stuff is right now, I feel like mist is a hot commodity, like because it's a new resource. But I think eventually it's going to be like Dreamlight is for a lot of people where you just have way more than you know what to do with. So I think that's when those kinds of things are going to come in handy. Because you'll probably have a bunch of mist that you can just spend and it won't even phase you. Aha, you've done it. You're constructing with your hourglass and the time bending tables. Well done. I'd say it's almost as if you're rediscovering the past with each thing you build. Exciting, eh? Oh, I remembered what I was going to do now. Oh, well. Um, like I'm doing archaeology with magic. Excellent. Precisely. Oh, and there's something else that I've uncovered. The mist in your hourglass isn't just useful for fixing the time rifts around the aisle. You can also use the mist to make your hourglass more powerful. Merlin, been there, done that, my friend. I'm sure if you do, you'll uncover additional things to create. But to understand it all, well, more research is required. I'll let you know if I discover anything else. Okay, Merlin. Good chat, good chat. The other thing I wanted to do was see... Hmm... See, see what? <laughs> see about, oh, what I need for a training manual. Where do I want to pop a time bending table? Back here, maybe? Or by the mystical cave? I might pop it over here if I can. Is that also under utilities? Uh 
appliances. Wait, didn't I buy some from Scrooge? Oh, wait. I think such a thing happened to other people, too. They said they bought... Oh, no. They bought a time-bending table from Scrooge and they couldn't use it. Or they didn't see it in their furniture menu. I wonder if you can only use it in Eternity Isle or if it just does not exist anymore. Anyone done the Sands in the Hourglass quest? Mmm... I'm not sure. If you give, like, a somewhat vague description of it, I might be able to tell you if I've done it or not. You think they did that very well with the fast travel? Same. So time bending is my new mining. It is, Michelle. Literally, I was watching um, some YouTube with my partner last night, and I was just sitting on my Switch running around time bending because <laughs> I was having so much fun with it. You see what I mean with the villagers chasing you down for scramble coin? Goofy and Moana are just creepily following you around right now. Exactly. When they want to play scramble coin, they really want to play scramble coin. Also, thank you, Lenny. Thank you very much. Okay, let me. Uh, I didn't even need the time bending table for this, but um, no, I am still quite a ways off. I would still need two more dingle hoppers and six more wooden oars. And three more pink bows in order to make one time bending manual. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is it worth it though? I feel like it might be because even though it's going to use all of our resources once we get those, I can't wait to explore everywhere. I feel like wait, keep playing to unlock more missions. I thought I finished her. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, I thought I the one that I finished was only her level two friendship quest. And it was, but I need to do things with Remy first. And I need to do things with Gaston before I can do her next quest. Okay, okay. Rapunzel, oh, hang out with me for here. a minute. Oh. Oh. Give me one second. How's this? I'm going to pop this screen up because my game is totally frozen. I think it's mid crash right now. I don't think this has ever happened to me on PC before. You OK, fam? It is, in fact, not OK. All right. You know what? Maybe this is my game telling me I need to leave. <laughs> so I think we will just end up. Uh, wrapping up the stream here don't leave just yet though i'm going to see who else is playing i'm sure somebody is we can go hang out with them thank you so much for hanging out with me today i appreciate it i had a fabulous time i hope you're all enjoying the update and or the expansion if you have it who's playing who's playing you know what sprout sea sprout is playing um let's go see sprout sea sprout if you have time, please go drop them a like. If not, no worries. I am going into my streaming weekend, but I will be back on Sunday playing more Dreamlight Valley. So I hope to see you there. But until next time, take care of yourselves and I will see you really soon. Goodbye.